Hello, my name is Hossein Mahdavian. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a fake 3D rotating bottle. So stay with me until the end. <laughs> to start, we need an image. I searched the bottle mockup from freepick.com. Many images are displayed. I downloaded this image in PSD format. We opened this photo in Photoshop. If you pay attention to the layer section, this photo consists of several layers. Background layer, shadow, bottle, label, and finally the design. You can change the design to your taste. This design is in the form of a smart object. Just double click on it to open it in new tab. It opens like this. You can apply the changes you want. For example, you can change this text. Double click and type the text you want. Or change its font. For example, I change its font to Coca Cola. I will lower the text a little. Just make the desired changes and finally press Ctrl S and save this file and close this window you will see that your design is updated save this project with Control s open the location where the psd file is saved by drag and drop i drop this psd file in the project section of the after pay i put import kind on composition and layer option on editable layer styles Double click on the composition. I want to have three of this bottle. If you remember from the beginning of the video, we had three bottles. Select all of these layers except the background. By holding the shift button, we move this bottle to the right. I want to have two more bottles on the left side. Now if you pay attention to the design, You will see that the design is out of the bottle and we need to fix it. I get a duplicate from the label layer with Ctrl D. I drag this layer above the design layer and set it to alpha in the track mat section. Now if you look at the design, you will see that it has been fixed and is displayed inside the label. To create a fake 3D, we need to duplicate the design layer several times. But before that, we need to convert it to pre-composition. By pressing Ctrl Shift C, we will convert it to a pre-composition. Leave it on the first option. We change its name to design and click OK. Open the pre-composition. Now we can duplicate this layer several times. Hit Ctrl D. By holding shift, I will move this layer and place it exactly next to this one. Press Ctrl D again. Move it again by holding shift. When we hold shift, it moves in a straight path to the left or right. Again Ctrl D. Hold shift and move it. Now we have four designs. I return to the original composition. Now we need to animate this. Before animating, we need to create a null object and place it at the bottom of the bottle because we want to rotate the bottle a little to the left or right. I create a null object from the layer menu and new section. I move the null object layer above this layer. I also put the null object at the bottom of the bottle. I zoom in a little. Put it right here because the bottle rotates to the right from here. I change the name of this layer to right. I will make a duplicate of this layer and change its name to left. And place it here. Because we want to rotate this bottle from the right and from the left side. 
Now we have to parent these layers together. We parent the label design and label tool layer to the button layer. With this tool, we can parent them to the button layer. I parent the button layer to the right now object. And finally, parent the right null object to the left null object. With this, if we move the left null object, the whole bottle will move. Press Ctrl Z. Now suppose that we want to animate this bottle in 1 second and 10 frames. I select the left layer and the shadow layer by holding Ctrl because the shadow layer is separate. In the same frame we are in, by holding Alt Shift P, I create a position keyframe. I move the CTI to the first frame. And I take the bottle out of the scene by holding Shift. This is how the bottle enters the scene. To make the movement of the bottle more attractive, Select these two keyframes and make them easy ease by pressing F9. Now we need to adjust its speed. Open the graph editor. Right click here and make sure the speed graph is selected. We have value graph and speed graph. Be sure to select the speed graph option. I move this handle to the left and adjust its speed. For example, 61. Close the graph editor and play the animation from the beginning with the space button. Now it's time to animate the design. Hold shift and move the CTI to snap to this frame. Select the design layer and create a position keyframe by pressing Alt Shift P. Go to the first frame and move this layer a bit by holding Shift. Now if you look carefully, you can see that the design also rotates and has a fake 3D rotation. The speed of this frame should also be adjusted like the previous layers. I select this keyframe and press F9 to make it easy ease. Open the graph editor and set the speed to 61. If I play the animation from the beginning, you can see how beautifully we animated this bottle so far. The movement of this bottle is normal. To make it more interesting, we rotated a little while moving. I select the right layer. Hold shift and move the CTI to snap to this frame. I go back 5 frames. Hold down control and I'll go back 5 frames with the left arrow key. Here I will press Alt Shift R to create the rotation keyframe. I set its angle to 5 degrees. Move forward 10 frames by holding Ctrl Shift Right. Set its angle to 0. It was the right side that we animated. We animate the left side in the same way. Press Alt Shift R and the rotation keyframe will be created. Move forward 5 frames with Ctrl Right. Choose angle minus 2 for example. I move forward 5 frames with Ctrl right and set the angle to 0. By holding Ctrl, I select these keyframes and the last keyframe and make them easy ease with F9. Now I play the animation from the beginning. You can see how beautifully we could animate this battle. Now that we have animated this battle once, we can duplicate it several times 
and place it on the left side. I select all layers by pressing Ctrl A. Press U to close the layers and press F2 to dislike them. I take a duplicate of the background layer. Right click on it and select guide layer because I don't want this layer to be displayed in the rendering. Select all layers by holding shift and put them all in pre-composition with Ctrl Shift C. Choose its name, for example, Battle 1. Now we can duplicate this layer. Hit Ctrl D. Hold Shift and move it and place it here, for example. You can move this layer a little so that it enters the scene with a delay. Its delay depends on you and you can adjust it easily. Duplicate this layer once more and move it a little. Or you can adjust these layers every 5 frames. And I will put this bottle here by holding shift. We animated the bottle once and we can duplicate it as many times as we like. Like this, we were able to animate these three battles. Well, now the animation of the battles is finished. On the back of these battles, we had the Coca-Cola logo, which appears after these battles were motionless. I use the text tool. Click here and type Coca-Cola. We can change its font from this section. For example, I choose the Coca-Cola font. And then type the text you want. Adjust the text size from here. Of course, I wrote Coca-Cola wrong. Double click on this part and correct it. Adjust its size and location. You can choose any font you want. I selected the Coca-Cola font. I convert this text to pre-composition. Type text and click OK. Drag and drop the text layer below the bottles. Open its pre-composition. Select the region of interest option. And select the text all around. And then select the crop comp to region of interest option from the composition menu. Return to the main composition. And drag it down a little and put it here for example. Open the text pre-composition. Select its layer and hit this color switcher. Then I stroke it a little more. I will return to the main composition again. Now I want this text to appear after the bottle is motionless. For example, second 2. At this second, I'll hit the open bracket and this layer will be moved forward. Now by holding the Alt Shift P option, we will create a position keyframe. For example, we want to enter the scene in 30 frames. I hit Ctrl Shift right 3 times. And here, I create a keyframe. Hold Shift and move the CTI and in this frame I take these takes out of the scene. I select these two keyframes and press F9. 
and in the graph editor I move this handle to the left. And this is how the text enters the scene. We can have several copies of this text. We can use an effect. From the effect menu and from the stylus section, select the CC Reptile option. Open the effect control section and expand this section more. Now we have three Coca-Cola logo. This way. We need to animate the blinking part. Open this pre-composition. Copy this text layer with Ctrl C. Go back to the main composition and paste with Ctrl V. And make it white with this color switcher and put it in its place. I want this blinker to start when this text layer appears. Here I'm hitting the open bracket. Put it in place. For example, I want to have this layer for 20 frames. Here press ALT open bracket and shrink the layer. Duplicate the layer with CTRL D and place it here. In this frame, I bring the layer down. By holding SHIFT, I will move this layer and place it here. Duplicate this layer again with Ctrl D and I will place it here. Move it by holding Shift and place it in its place. Now we can repeat this. To do this, select all three layers and convert them to pre-composition by pressing Ctrl Shift C. Okay. Open the pre-composition. From where the text starts, press the B button to limit the work area. Move CTI to the end of it and hit N. Right click on it and select Trim Comp to work area. Return to the main composition. This composition has been moved. Move it here. After the text enters the scene, it starts blinking. To repeat this action, we can use a simple expression. By pressing Ctrl Alt T, time remap option appears. Hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. The expression section opens. Type the loop out command. Select the loop out command and press enter twice from the numpad. Zoom out the timeline and play the animation. You can see that this action is repeated again. Now I want to give an effect to the bottle to make it look better. Open the bottle pre-composition. Make a duplicate of the bottle layer and place it on top of all layers. Search for the fill effect from the effects and presets section. 
and place it on this layer. Choose black color. Activate solo of this layer. I use another effect called CC Light Sweep. Choose this effect from the effect menu and the generate section. As you can see, a light is created on the bottle. I set the sweep intensity to zero. And I also increase the edge intensity. By doing this, only the edges of the bottle will be illuminated. If I move this point, you can see this light on the edges of the bottle. Now we have to animate this light. I want this light to appear from where the bottle stops moving. For example, from second 2. We keep CTI here. I move this point and create a keyframe for the center. Hit U to see the keyframes. I'll move the CTI for a second and put this point here, for example. And in this way, we were able to animate this light. To make the work more attractive, we can use another effect called Glow. Search for it and place it on this layer. And adjust these values to achieve the desired result. Now our light is a little brighter. It's ok now. Disable the solo option of the layer. And select color dodge from the mode section. You can see that we were able to animate this light beautifully. Now I return to the main composition and play the animation from the beginning. You can see that we were able to create this animation from scratch. I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Thanks for watching.